When you play big games, you need your big players to come through, and one of those guys for the Tennessee Titans is certainly Delaney Walker. 71 catches, 788 yards, his fifth year with the team, one of his best. And a guy who's becoming, at age 33, one of the best-known and most respected tight ends in the National Football League, he likes the attention. Do you get tired of being called Pro Bowl tight end Delaney Walker? Uh, not, not really. I think, <laughs> I think uh, that's honest. I like that. Yeah, I, I don't get tired of it. I mean, I, I feel like I earned it by just playing and, and doing everything I could for the organization and, and having the ability to play for it. I mean, why would I get tired? I earned and it. Playing and playing and playing. Play. I mean, playing. you earned it. There's no doubt about it. So I wonder, do you ever think, okay, I play for the Titans. I catch five passes a game for the Titans. If I had been able to be in that situation my first seven years, I might be a seven or eight time pro bowler. I always sit back and I think about that if I would have had the chance earlier in my career. Uh, but you know, things worked out where I, I'm doing it at an older age. So who knows, you know what I mean? Uh, I can't go back to the past. I'm only living in the future at this point. Was it hard to leave San Francisco when you had been there seven years and you were as comfortable as you were? Yeah, it, it was really hard uh, to leave San Fran. I didn't want to leave San Fran. We had something really good going on there with Jim Harbaugh and all the guys we had in that locker room. So it was tough. Uh, but at the end of the day, I didn't want to be the, the, the second string tight end no more. Uh, and I, I knew that uh, I needed a new home. And uh, Tennessee provided that for me and gave me the opportunity. Was there any way that you thought it would turn out this well for you individually? I kind of did. You know, I, I knew once I left the shadows of Vernon Davis that uh, I would have the opportunity to be a star in this league. When I remember talking to the coaches here in Tennessee and they was telling me they had a tight end, Craig Stevens, but you, if you can beat him out, then you, the job is yours. So uh, that was a challenge coming in and, and, and Cat Stevens was a, a, a great blocker, a great tight end, played the game very well, became very close with him, uh, also became a good friend. Uh, so that was that was a challenge on coming in here trying to take his spot, um, knowing what type of player he was. That's interesting because Vernon Davis, the fastest tight end in the NFL, receiver, Craig Stevens, good athlete in his own right, faster than anybody thought, but a great blocker. Many say the best blocking tight end in the NFL. You've worked with two of the best in two different ways. Have you stolen parts of each's game? Always. You know, I always consider myself a sponge. You know, I just soak the knowledge up. I learned a lot from Vernon on how he ran his routes being so explosive. And then coming here with Craig, learning how he was blocking, I learned a lot from him, from his technique and how to finish. And it all came together. And, and, and uh, I can say today, I got both of them inside of me doing route running and blocking. Uh, you're 33. Most players, their body has already let them know. So if the body's going well, is the love for the game enough to go four years? Oh, yeah, I love the game. That's the only thing I think that's keeping me here is the love for the game, the love for my peers, coming in the locker room, smelling that football smell, putting on cleats, being able to go out there and release stress. Um, a lot of people don't understand that, but when we go out there, we release stress. When you are through playing, do you stay in the game? No. No? <laughs> no. Even the way you love it and as many positions as you know and the kind of leader you are, I mean, it seems like either coaching or scouting would be made for you. Yeah, you know, I hear that a lot from everyone, but uh, football is, is, is stressful. It's stressful on, on, on the mind, I would say. <laughs> Being able to scout players. If you pick the wrong player, you know, it falls back on you. Coaching these guys, especially these millennials, you know, it's a little different. The old millennials. <laughs> when I came in, it was totally different. Football was a different ball game. Now it's changed so much. I don't know if I'm capable of coaching these guys. Okay, so what about broadcasting? I can do broadcasting. I, I've, uh, people always say I'm pretty good on the radio, so I see myself. You're really good. I'm all right. I'm all right. I could. Uh, I don't know about the TV side of it, but radio. I think I can do radio. I, I'd rather be comfortable, not have to dress up, put on makeup to go on TV, where I could just sit behind a microphone and talk on the radio. I'm capable of doing that. <laughs>